Hello everyone, welcome to Usual Mike Television, your home action figure news. But today, we're talking Kenner. We can talk about Kenner because it's a slow news day. There is some big news coming up for the 4th of May, the May the 4th be with you. But today, I'll send a video by a good friend called Ross on Instagram, and it shows these items. Now, I know of these items, but I had never seen them in action. Check this out. They're the blister bubbles that go with the cards. So... For all the years out there who want to collect mint on card, and you know it's getting very pricey, for Kenner collectors, what do we do? We do this now, where we go, uh, I've got something similar, where you've got a card back, and you've got the bubble, you've probably seen that before. There's no name for it, but I want to name it in this video officially. <laughs> Can we call it vintage card back pairing? Or, see, it's, it makes it into a mock, but it's not a mock, it's a, a mock mock. <laughs> mock mocks anyway it's to store and display your vintage figures with their original card backs not everyone's into it most of us who don't have the funds to go out and purchase whichever mock we like we like this this way as well we even end up getting the card backs and the figures and pair them up as you may have seen in a recent uh, retro collection video I did this a lot I'm gonna do a little bit more today so we'll spin the camera around and check it out so as you guys can see, we have Princess Leia Boosh. Someone asked me in the comments section about this card and I mentioned it's Clipper. Clipper card backs are from the Netherlands. They have that extra piece of cross off. Usually they use uh, Pally Toy, which is the easiest stuff they could get. Some of them are Kenner and they uh, occasionally you'll find ones with wraps that go around and, and show extra things. So Leia Boosh, number one. Number two, oh ha ha, Gamorrean card. And this is also, ooh, a lot of, a lot of reflection on that. That's better. <laughs> you can see they've cut the name pellet and I stuck him in one of these oversized bubbles. But yeah, I'd really love to get one of those. There's a few of those collection cases actually. So in front of you, I've got the case with all the, what have we, what have we got here? Ah, oh, there's some more clipper cards in here. Clipper cards. This is what I meant by they wrap around. You got this bad boy here and the, the, it's a sticker that covers right across the bottom of the Kenner card back. And also, they cut the offer out as well. They did a nice job. They didn't cut across this one. They they carved it out with a with a pen knife, I suppose. And we can pair him up with the same character, 88, down in there later on. Now, who's up next? Nikto. No weapon in hand, but looks fantastic. Needs to go in one of those bubbles. Fantastic. Boba Fett posted this one recently on my Instagram, so if you didn't see it on my Instagram, you can see it there. Excellent. Complete. That is the Blue Sky card back as well. Quite rare. It's a 77 back for all use. Now the next one, if we come up here to the first 12 stand, you'll see Luke Skywalker. I don't really want to take him off the first 12 stand. I took that apart and give everything a nice clean. And here is that Star Wars original card back with <laughs> Han Solo standing the way. That's a 12 back B. Beautiful card back. Great figure to go along with it. Wonderful stuff. I suppose eventually if I do get an extra Luke, it'll pair up with this one and I'll, I'll keep him on the stand. Depends on which one is the, I don't know, the higher grade quality. We'll wait and see. Nice one here of Rebel Commando. And you can be a little bit higher up on the card. Excellent. And you've got your name, Pearl. Beautiful. Weak way. Now, what has happened to your weapon? On an unpunched, I think it's a 77. That's correct. 77 back. Brilliant. And the pop's been removed as well from there. But awesome. Humanity. Clark 2. Welcome to the... Cardback pairing. These cardbacks seem better days. Uh, I do like the fur on this one. He's just very nice. Where's your weapon? <laughs> Kla two. This pairing works out very nice. He's got that lovely orange pill in the back still there. This is on a 77, 65, 65 this one. Oh. Shock horror. And the Black Dead Ewoks on it as well with the bandolier. Very nice. My 
the squid head is missing his belt, so his little skirt might drop to his ankles at any time. Imperial Royal Guard. Nice. This one here must have been in the UK as the pill's been removed. Pop still intact on a 65 back. Wonderful. The red and the blue go so good together there. This one made it to the Instagram, the R5D4. Little pill. Oh yes! Quite a large bubble pill, isn't it? <laughs> For what it is. Oh, I absolutely adore this. This this is brilliant. 77 back. Princess. Looking very lovely. Once again, pill being removed for the offer. 79 back. Sweet. Bit for tuna. Lovely, lovely. Once again, name pill, but this one has the drop shadow on it and also no Kenla makes it Pally toy and it is a little bit of a different card back with the offer and the Lester Colville. Colville Lester, yeah. 65 back. Fantastic. Coming in nicely. Very good. Bib. Once again we go back up here to the first 12 stand and this time beautiful. Is that working well? Oh yeah, oh yeah, my first figure was this card and this big head hard, just like that. Years later I've managed to get one of them guys and thank you to subscriber Jerry for that awesome card back you sent me. That's Thank you so much for sending me that, that's, that's fantastic. So much glare. <laughs> there we go. Oh, one thing I was going to show you is as well was the difference between the mess. All right, showing the difference between the Kenner version of the Rebel Commander and the Pally Toy slash Clipper card backs. Both Jedi. One has a drop shadow. Slightly different image. That looks a bit more red in it. That looks a bit more blue in the image. If it's coming through on the camera and on the backs. Much different because they've got the big sticker over the top and they've also put the 65 inside a box as well. There you go. I've gone and changed the angle of the camera once again. I also want to show you a few that, well, I'd like to pull out but it's going to be difficult. You see down the bottom there, I'm going to zoom right in on a Princess Leia. Bespin Gallum version, her card back. Oh, you look so lovely. Yeah. This is a, a 31 back. Very cool. Bespin layer. Now we zoom in on Bosk. Go the wrong way. There he is, and his card back. Brilliant. Unpunched. It's got a nice big chunk out of it though. The image is a little bit light. I don't know if it's been sun faded over the years. The back is much like layers. 31 again. Yeah, no Yoda. We're zoomed in on Zuckus and his card back. Just go to the side. Very, very shiny. Free of of the Jedi. Much different card back on this one. It's 48 back, and as you can see, Revenge of the Jedi and also the word Pally Toy. Oh, if I can show you that. Is that coming in nice and clear? Pally Toy. Amazing. 
That's the only part of the sticker that still warrants being... <laughs> you can read. Excellent. Uh, in the back you can see the TIE Fighter pilot and his card back. I might zoom out a little tiny bit. Oh, there it is. Lovely, lovely. He'll pair up nicely with that Pally Toy card back with the pill cut out of it. Special offers on the back. And Colville Lester as well mentioned on the card. Nice. Right down the bottom behind Han Solo in his Bespin, I've got that card back coming, which I'm excited about. But behind him is Pruneface. Very nice. I have to come back a little bit so you can see the rest of the card. There we go. The pop removed. Classic Kenner. Unpunched. 77 back. And right next to him, you'll see 88 in the back there. And here's his clipper card back. From the Netherlands. And there's the wraparound I was talking about where the sticker starts at the back, wraps around to the front. Sometimes they use Kenner cards, sometimes they used Poly Toy cards. Don't know if they used any other cards. I've never seen any um, Spanish POC or anything like that. Some of the hardest cards to get are Toll Toys, you probably know that, seen one on this channel. And also Lily Letty's pretty difficult. Top Toys from Argentina, but probably the hardest would probably be Harbert. Some of the hardest card backs to get. Last thing I wanted to show you, I've got it. Oh, I've got Luke standing in the middle there. No, sorry guys. Got you carded. Don't have a card back for you yet. I tried to get one earlier. I'm, sure, I'm showing off now the Imperial Commander. No glare on there. There's too much glare on there, isn't it? And his Kenner version. And his Kenner with an offer. Printed on. Fantastic. Need them all framed up together. Thanks for watching. It's very difficult to film one of these videos with the space that I have. If we're talking about grails and card backs, the one card back everybody talks about is this one from Stan Steve Sansweet's book. Look at that. The early bird certificate and the four figures. Now that's a card back. I think one of them went at auction recently at Vectus for £2,400. Close to 5000 Aussie dollar dues, one of those. Amazing stuff. Hope you've enjoyed today's video. Leave a comment down below us up any of the figures that you enjoyed seeing paired up in this mock mock. I don't like that. This vintage card back pairing, we're gonna call it. My name is Usual Mike. To support the channel, don't forget about the links down below for merch, memberships, and affiliate links, as well as hitting subscribe, tapping that little bell for notification, slapping a like on it, and I'll see you guys next time. All the best.